video game award season is quickly approaching and we already have our first set of nominations for the top games of this year with the Golden Joystick Awards hosted by Games Radar. This is something I checked out during a Magical Gamers Monday live stream where we looked at the nominations and I voted many times for Baldur's Gate 3 and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Unfortunately, Hogwarts Legacy was snubbed and not included in any nomination, even though I do think that they deserve nominations across multiple categories, um, but that's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and look at the next set of nominations that just came out, which are for our performers, the voice actors for games, and Ultimate Game of the Year. Uh, the first set of voting was already closed on October 20th, but for this next set where we have the voice actors and the Ultimate Game of the Year, that is open until October 30th. What's unique about this show is that it's entirely based on fan voting, so I'll include the link in the description so you can vote for your favorites of the voice actors and Ultimate Game of the Year by October 30th. I'll be co-streaming the event on November 10th so we can check out the winners then together. All right, let's take a look at the nominations and who I'm voting for. It looks like there's only three categories to vote for. We have Ultimate Game of the Year, Best Lead Performer, and Best Supporting Performer. I already saw some nominations for the voice actors because I follow some of them on Twitter, but let's take a look. She was every waking moment was spent trying to shoulder the burden that you and the I have heard great things about Final Fantasy XVI. That's why I became his shield. No. Ooh. It wasn't. You know, I keep forgetting this game came out. What is this cage? How much did Sork offer you? In a horror story, there are only victims oh my gosh. and monsters. Who I just watched the Xbox press preview. But trapped by the genre, Their trailers are really good. To pieces along the way. I want to watch someone play Alan Wake 2. Oh, Spider-Man 2. I'm currently playing this. My playthrough is being posted on the channel as we speak. He always tries to do the right thing. Right. Well, that's all that matters. What's right? this game? He's always looked out for us. He couldn't help what happened. Yeah, you're right. It's not weird for me to want to find him, is it? I need to check the general store for the heart. Oh my gosh, another Alan Wake 2 nom. Like I saw it in a dream. Wake has a double. Where is he now? Did you write these pages, Mr. Wade? I'm trying to remember. You take the drones, I got the jet skis. I love Miles. You know if I borrow this? Miles is great. One, two, three, Allie! There are moments in Spider-Man 2 where I'm like, Miles. He really delivers emotion. I'm kind of leaning towards him at the moment. I mean, Peter is great. Don't get me wrong, Peter's great, he's goofy. I really have liked Miles so far. Considering I've only played Spider-Man 2 out of all of these games, or you know, with all these voice actors, I'm sure they're all lovely. I'm gonna vote for Miles Morales. Let's do it. All right, next category. Oh, please don't die. Laura hey, Bailey! It's MJ. I'm at an abandoned zoo in Jersey. It's I haven't gotten this far yet. <laughs> It's not enough. We have a gallery oh, of villains to look out for, but story. now we could be infiltrated by a shape changer. I can't even tell if any of you are acting strange because you've been replaced or because this group is full of weirdos. For those that have not. Oh my it, gosh, it wait, no! All of these are great! Or accept. <sighs> Others here have seen conflict. I can't, I can't choose. Causes. Unnecessarily odd. Stop! The narrator? The you cannot imagine what purpose such a creature could possibly serve. Listen, the squirrels Amelia Tyler has like a million ugly. hours in this game. I feel like I have to vote for her. Territory. All of the branches and everything. Oh, words. Believe me, I've tried. We can only choose one? The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us this say, we'll year is stacked. Way. The moment I had the sword, I knew what to do. I knew this was why I came oh, to the sea. Oh my goodness. Y'all, you know, all of these games came out in the same year. I want to restore the master sword and deliver it to Link. I say they're all betrayed. so good. Ooh. All sold out. Hello, Idris Elba. Peace offering. My head on a silver platter. 
all for a ceasefire. Okay. Well, this comes at a price. Someone's always got to I feel like I have to vote for, I have to vote for Amelia Tyler. There's no way that I can't, oh my gosh, I'm so sad that um, Neil is also nominated. All of these are great. And then Laura Bailey too. <laughs> I also, I very much like her in Spider-Man too. I mean, I like her in general as a person uh, that I watch every single week on Critical Role, but this one is tough. I'm telling you. And then st the Starfield actress also, like, oh, man, I'm going to vote for Amelia. Gosh. All right, ultimate game. Uh, there's no question. Y'all know what I'm voting for. <laughs> Look at these games. Okay, so I have played Cocoon. It is a really great game for a puzzle game. High quality. Really? I also haven't played that. Wait a second. Wait a second. How many games are nominated for this? Hi Bye Russia had a big moment this year. Y'all. Wait a second. Are you seeing this list? Sea of Stars, I have to check this one out. I haven't yet. Wait a minute. You're telling me all of those get Listen, I played Assassin's Creed Mirage. It's a great game. You're telling me Assassin's Creed Mirage and some of these other games. Super Mario Bros. Wonder? Like, you're telling me these games got nominated and Hogwarts Legacy doesn't get a single nod? There's so many games on here. Look at all these games on here. I mean, granted, I haven't played all of... We have Metroid Prime remastered on this list and Hogwarts Legacy did not get a nomination. I'm not saying that these games aren't great. Forza Motorsport... I, could, I shouldn't speak about... I don't play these games. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, look at... there's. It's like, oh, you ran out of space for Hogwarts Legacy? I'm voting for Baldur's Gate 3 because my entire being is like, this game deserves Game of the Year, but... It does make me a little upset that Hogwarts Legacy gets zero nominations. Look at all of these games. I okay, I'll get off my I'll get off my rant. I'll vote for Baldur's Gate 3. Y'all, if you haven't played Baldur's Gate 3 and you're interested, go play it. It deserves game. Wait, how many am I voting for? <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with Tears of the Kingdom as my well, the problem is, shoot, should I be voting right now? The problem is I haven't finished Spider-Man 2, but I am very much enjoying it. So I wonder if I can probably like reorder as soon as I list them. How many am I putting down here? Five? Five? <laughs> what are we doing, rank choice voting? Um, What else can I vote for? I guess I'll, I'll vote for Cocoon because I have played that and I really like it a lot. Listen. Starfield is great. Do I think it deserves ultimate game of the year with all this other these other stacked games? No. You know what? Okay. I'm going to vote for Starfield because despite my sort of like I have I do have moments of just like eh. But there are also moments, it, it has like the lowest lows and the highest highs uh, like in the same game. It's really bizarre to me. I don't understand why. I'll put it in my five spot. Why am I voting for five? And Hogwarts Legacy isn't even an option here. Baldur's Gate 3, go play it. Tears of the Kingdom, excellent. So these top three are like, for me, they, those are gonna be for sure, for sure, for sure top contenders. Baldur's Gate 3 should win in my very strong opinionated opinion. <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom is excellent, but Spider-Man 2 is really good. Well, I wasn't expecting to have such a strong reaction to the Ultimate Game of the Year nominees, but I mean, am I wrong? 
am I wrong? Like, I, I don't know. It's tough. It's really tough because this year especially has so many excellent games, like top tier games that are going to be uh, people's favorite games, like on the list. Have you seen those lists? It's like my top 25 games. I guarantee you 2023 is going to have quite a few across many people's lists. It has for me. Baldur's Gate 3 is my top one, but Tears of the Kingdom is also top. Spider-Man 2 is excellent. Hogwarts Legacy deserves a nomination. That's all I'm saying. All right, y'all. Well, if you would like to vote for Ultimate Game of the Year, Best Lead Performer, and Best Supporting Performer, you have until October 30th. Check the link in the description and you can vote. And then stay tuned here for November 10th, where I'll be co-streaming the awards so we can see who wins. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, wands ready.